Yay Networks. So what's up, y'all? We are back with another episode of This Is Life with Heather and Cornelius. If you did not get a chance to listen to last week's episode, I would encourage you to turn this one off. Go back and listen to that one because we're going to continue this conversation. You seem so defeated. Not defeated. Baby. It's just like, you know, oh, I, feel you like, I feel like I'm exposing my, my brothers here. As you should. And I As you should. Because <laughs> you have sons and you have a daughter. What does that mean? That means that do you want somebody to put Taylor in this Xbox? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't, I wouldn't want that, but if, and this may sound really crazy, but if Taylor makes that decision, like ultimately, and here's the thing, and, and, hear, and hear me out, hear me out, hear me I'm out. I'm asking you. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I feel like. Do they I know the like, topic? I don't know if you know the topic. Well, that's why I told them to go listen to the past episode. The, pa- the, the episode is about, what was this thing about? How long is it too long to date somebody? To date somebody. And yeah. then Riley, our producer, mentioned about putting people in the box. The yeah. box theory, and men put, when a man meets a woman, he puts her in one of three boxes, either marry box, have sex box, or I don't want anything to do with you box. And somehow we got really focused on the second box. And so the question you asked me was about Taylor, but here's the bigger issue. I do not feel like, not all women, but some women are taking responsibility for their own choices. If she, if you true. so choose That's true. to be it, to place yourself in that box, you ain't got to get in the box, baby. Then you ain't got to climb it's not, in. It's not like it's not like we made you. Maybe maybe that's where we put you in the box in our in our head. I ain't got nothing but to do with that. But if you chose yeah, to be real. in the box, then that's your responsibility. Taylor would never be in the box. She would never be in the box. That's what I'm saying. If Taylor she, chose that, what yeah. can I do to stop it? She's not going to choose that, thankfully. But I unfortunately did choose that for so long. You took responsibility. I absolutely. I Absol- chose that's great. to be in the wrong boxes. But then I was also in the box with expectations. Of what I want in the guy. And what did and where did those expectations come from? From him or from you? From me. Right. So Your we both So both of us have ac- expectations of what we want from the relationship. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you, you know, that you have to step back and you have to first know who you are and and say, "All right, if even before I get into a relationship, do I know who I am?" And that's one of the things that we talk to the kids about because the kids are always like, "Hey, not always. They asked a couple times like what age can we start dating? That's like the, been the question lately. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are in Christ? Do you know who, what your identity is? Do you know what you like? Do you know what you don't like? Do you have boundaries up? Like, do you know who you are? And it's and I found that I got into relationships and I didn't know who I was. I struggled with my purpose, my calling, who I was, what I wanted. That's why I went to grad school and listened to that guy's advice, my ex's advice, because I felt like, well, maybe I'll be more enough for him if Mm. I have my master's degree, which sounds bat crazy. If you have to change everything about yourself to get somebody to like you, like that's, that's wild. It's almost like I was up there, like, like this is American um, Idol. Like I'm up here like auditioning to get you to, you know, approve of me. Like that's crazy. When you get into a relationship, whoever it is should like love you and approve of you and think that you're amazing just the way you are. Like the way you come to the table they should love that about you and not try to change every aspect of you. Like I, we broke up when we first started dating because we were trying to change each other. I'm like, if you're going to be my husband, you need to be more affectionate. You need to be change me mostly. Anyways, he wanted me to wear none outfits. Okay. And I said, no, I'm going to wear what I want to wear because you ain't my daddy. and You don't tell me what to do. (laughs) You remember that? No, you you be a real sister soldier right now. Baby. I don't remember any of that. What? You don't remember that? No, ma'am. When I we don't. were dating, no, ma'am. Me telling you, you're not my dad, or did was that till when we got That's married? When we got married. You oh, told me okay. So I was being dad. sweet till we got married. <laughs> you know, you know, coming even with the box theory. This is another theory that that men that men have to understand. That woman you're with. She's going to change at least three times in your in your life, bro. Yeah, that's real. She's going to change when you get married, <clears throat> i.e. my wife just gave you that example. But I'm not like that all the time, though, in my babe? She's going to sh- She's going to change when you get married. <laughs> Listen to me, brother. Wait, how did I she change? Go- how did I change? Oh, the, the mouth and the everything else? Wow, babe. Oh, absolutely. I had a mouth beforehand. You you didn't you didn't you didn't use it like you did. Baby, but I don't even now think about it. Think about it now. What? Think about what now? Do I use my mouth? Do I clap back? I don't don't even talk like that to you. I'm like so sweet with you. Yeah, now. Heather, now. 
I went Shoot. through a season where I clapped back. Oh, so now we have selective memory. <laughs> yes. I just don't recall. I bet you don't. But anyway. Wow, they get... the former things. You're, re- you're reminding me of the former, the <laughs> can past. We, can I talk? Can I give oh, these sorry, things, babe. please? I'm sorry. She's going to change when she gets married. She's going to change when she has children. She's going to change when she has children. Whether a child or children, she will change. And then she's going to change when she's going through her menopausal stage. I have, I've experienced two of them. I have not experienced a third one. I think so, I'm premenopausal. <sighs> you look so defeated. So the week of my period, I'm not doing good, y'all. Y'all gotta pray for me. So I, 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 I just, am. I can't do people that week. <laughs> yeah, I've gone through two of them, and the woman that I married <laughs> is is just she changes. She so yeah. I just want to let you know for the brothers out there, you're getting in, you're 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 getting engaged, all this kind of stuff, and you just sitting there, you're like, I don't know who this woman <laughs> is. I'm telling you, after you get married, she, I don't, and I don't even care if you said, well, we've lived together for the past two years, brother, after she put, it's something about her putting on the ring where it's just, it's like, it's like she turns into like, like one of those people off of Captain America. I'm so serious. She's just like, dun, 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 dun. I got the ring from I'm land and earth and water. It's like, she just changed. She's like, ah, so I just So um, I was really chill when when we were dating. You were um I mean, yeah, you were you, I feel you like were, I'm chill cool. now. And I had that little <sighs> in between. What, what is some what is what is something I always I always said to you through the duration of our marriage? Using the word chill. What what was the other word? Oh after baby, that? you need to chill out. Chill out. But I Rather feel like that's out. about life things, but Rather about you, out. I don't like clap back. I don't like talk like that crazy to you. You don't. I mean, you you've never you've never been like a. I've never da, 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 da. been like that ever. But, but your 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 clap your clap back is different, and you know you know you clap back, babe. You you get you get quiet. I do get you, quiet. You like you, I go you have, inward. You have, you have your ways, and I order you Uber don't, Eats. Uh, 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 but you definitely my vice my vice is Uber Eats. I have a rough day. I'm ordering Uber now. Eats. It's Uber Eats, but in the past it used to be I'm going to buy a purse or I'm going to do something else. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna expensive. order me some shoes, and the shoes get there, and you're like, oh, look what kind of shoes I got myself in. So yeah, you you it used to, my you vice used, used to be Chanel, and you know no, it's not. I'm proud of I'm. You know what? I'm so proud of you, Heather, for that. I love you for that, girl. You have grown so much, <laughs> and you are just like so amazing and so wise and emotionally mature. Yes, Queen. Okay. <laughs> I just had to, like to root my. I had to cheer myself on because I'm proud of my growth. <laughs> <laughs> there's something. There's something. <laughs> Anyway, bro, she gonna change, homie. Yeah, I have definitely, She's I've definitely change. changed, and it's so true because it's almost like, like those vows that you said for better, for worse, and sickness and health, and for richer, for poor. Like you're gonna experience every single one of those, and like the the man you married, ladies, is completely different. Who you dated, who you married after kids. Oh my gosh, I am who this I man am. has changed in so many ways. He, I, I feel like it's not three versions; it's about a hundred different versions. Um, of this man. Here we go. Um, <laughs> but overall, baby. Did I change when we had kids? Yes. No, I didn't. You did. I was still protective. I was still prov- I, I, I've, I've been I've been the same Cornelius the whole time. You have gotten, ironically, with the more kids, you've gotten more relaxed. No, that's because of Zoloff. No, it's not, babe. You just started Zoloff. After Roman. What do you, you mean? You stopped caring. Yeah, I mean, I I just don't I don't care anymore about life in general. Well, you do care about. I mean, your care is different. You're just like it's not a big deal, babe. You just yeah. be stressed out about stuff that's not a big deal. Everything yeah. is gonna work out. Yeah, that's what I always tell you. Like, stop stressing out. Who cares? So he's so lax we'll about life. It's all, it's all he's okay. so lax about life, and it stresses me out because I'm like, I have a hundred emails from the teachers. I'm in all the mom groups, and then it's teacher appreciation end of school year projects. It's all this stuff. No, they, they need to appreciate the parents. I'm the one who had to get his butt to school every morning. <laughs> appreciate me. All you do is show up Wait, for no, work no, no. and you got paid Whoa, for it. Ooh, baby. What? We are not going to speak about teachers that way. We hey, love our I teachers. Love, hey, oh my I do gosh. love the teachers, but I also think they should appreciate the parents. Okay. They do by taking care of our kids for eight hours a day. We they love get, you. But He's that, joking. But that, is, but that is your job. Baby. Anyway. Yes. But some people treat it like a job, but some people treat it like a purpose. Like I like understand. Kids- I, I, I'm not. I'm, look, teachers, I'm not going against the fact that you love my kids. Thank you for loving my kids. I'm not saying that we shouldn't appreciate teachers. I also think that there should be a point of being able to appreciate parents, especially parents 
who are in the child's life. But what will teachers say? Teachers say, well, you're supposed to because that's your children. So I'm not speaking ill of teachers. I'm very thankful for them. I love the teachers that I had. But I still think that, you know, I mean, hey, we can appreciate the teachers. We can also appreciate some parents. So anyways, it's end of school year. All this Jesus. stuff. Love you, baby. I do. No, I understand. I heard you. I heard you, babe. Okay, so this next one's for the ladies. When you think back to middle school health class, and I know some of us have to go back a little bit further than others, and that's okay. When you think back to middle school health class, did hormone imbalance ever come up? Probably not. Well, this next sponsor has legitimately made a huge difference in women's lives all over. Mixers is a nutritional supplement that helps balance hormones. From your first period to your first hot flash, and I know there's a ton of events in between there, Mixers will be there with you every step of the way. Mixers is delicious. It's easy to stick to because it just tastes good. I know it's hot out. We're all on our hydration goals. We're running around with these huge cups, oversized cups, throw mixers in there on the go, in the morning, whenever you need it, tailor it to yourself. It's just there for you. In addition to balancing hormones, Mixers has 14 additional products to support women's wellness. From pre and postnatal supplements to menopause support to libido booster for sexual wellness, Mixers has the ideal supplement for every woman on earth. Not really sure what you need, where to start, totally okay. Head to Mixers website, take their quiz, and ensure you get matched with products designed for your unique wellness goals. And all Mixers products are produced with 100% natural ingredients. They don't use any artificial flavors, colors, or additive preservatives, and all of their products are gluten-free. Join thousands of women who have discovered feel-good freedom through balanced hormones. Head to Mixers.com, that's M-I-X-H-E-R-S.com slash This Is Life and use promo code This Is Life at checkout for an additional 10% off your order. Mixers rarely gives discounts, guys, so 10% is the best offer you'll find. Remember to use the promo code This Is Life, T-H-I-S-L-I-F-E for additional 10% off. Guys, get on Mixers. Are you okay? Do you need a hug? No, the way you just cut me off. No, I didn't mean to cut you off in that way, sweetheart. It wasn't my intention. Okay. Go oh, wow. Go. Is your heart sad? No, it's not. It's not sad at all. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. No, I appreciate your perspective, babe. So um, I just feel like I have a lot. I feel like I carry a lot on my plate. And I, I research a lot all day long. I'm overstimulated. I'm going nonstop. And then I ask you, and then you're like, no, babe, just chill. And I'm like, how does that even, how does it chill even register in your brain? And sometimes I feel like you can chill because I'm dealing with all that stuff and you don't have to deal with it. No, that's not, that's not accurate because a lot of things you do is just overkill in my opinion. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a, it's like, it's like you feel like you need to constantly research when I don't think that is the, <laughs> that's the case. It's, like, well, if I, I got to do it like this. I got to do it like this. I got to do it like this. And I tell you all the time, I feel like you're running yourself into the ground. Yeah. Trying to please everybody else. You do it like for dinner. It's like, oh my goodness. Like you come upstairs. Like I'm so tired. I had to cook for this. I had to cook it. I had to do that. And I'm just like, well, cooking you don't three have to. different meals every when you, night. When you, when you were gone, it was just me and the kids. It was so easy. Wait, what do you mean? It was easy. Like dinner time was super simple. It's like, hey guys, what do you want? What do you guys want to eat? We all went in the kitchen together. We all like made our food together. We all sat down. We ate. Boom. I went to my Wait, room. Everybody made their Roman food. Roman went to his Roman. Roman came in. Roman had a chair pulled up. Roman's helped me make his 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 uh his fruit rice. No way. Absolutely. Because I'm just like, yo, let's just do it together. Knock it out. You move should on. take over dinner for the next week. Why in the world would I do that? That's a, and even if I tried to, that's something that that's something that you be doing. Because you you I and I love you, but I have to say this. I feel like you try to stress yourself out to try to please everybody else when you don't have to. You're an amazing mom. You're an amazing Thank wife. You, baby. you don't have to. I keep trying to tell you that. You're like, well, I had to research this. I had to do like even today when I came home, you were like, babe, you know, Rum was sick and I had to do this and he wanted me and da, 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 da. and I just had and what I was doing. Just tell somebody da, 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 and, I was just, and I had to do all that. I had to work. I had to do this. And I'm I thinking did. myself like, I think to myself like, like all that stuff is great, but at the same time, I do feel like you overextend yourself. Baby, our kid was throwing up on I me. Get like, what that. was I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm trying to like work. He I was probably, trying to work out. But, but my kid is throwing but up. We have I'm help. trying to juice. You don't, but what do you need the juice because for? Because he, he said he wanted apple juice. Where am I going to get the apple juice from? But from Tell apples. The, we have help at home. They could go. <laughs> they could go and pick up some apple juice. Like it ain't that. It's not. But then I think like if I don't, 
if I get here into goes. the habit, here hold goes. on, hold here on. Go. Listen, listen to what she's if, about to say. <laughs> listen, here it comes. If I get into this habit of feeding my children processed foods, then down the line, it's going to affect them. I literally I ate processed food hold growing on, up. Hold on. I cringe at frozen food. I cringe at stuff not from scratch. And so, yes, he is right. I do stress out about I try to think through the meals for the kids. Like last <laughs> night I made cauliflower um, rice bowls and they were incredible. I like, roasted the cauliflower. I, I, I was looking for some pickled, um, some pickles to put in there too. I made my own sauce to drizzle on it. And then I put some Buffalo hot sauce on top of it, cooked some meat for um, Logan, cut up some, I made a cucumber salad to put in there. So it was like an experience when you sat down to eat it. It was so good. But to me, that's better than just like being like, oh, get some fast food. It's super unhealthy for you. We didn't eat fast food while you were gone. We ate at the house. I know, babe. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, but I don't like frozen food. I get that. I get that you don't. But for the purposes of time management, <laughs> they probably need to just get something that's frozen. It's not going to kill them. I ate frozen food growing up. What did we and argue about when we first got married? <laughs> About your about eating, yes, I, and it's I, the same I get thing. <laughs> I get that. I get, but again, I, I it's not even about the eating portion. I think yeah. I think we're highlighting eating portion. You overextend yourself. I do. You're right. And then you complain about being overextended. Hundred percent. And then I have to sit. I have to sit. I have to listen to you complain about being overextended. And so I don't ever want to be like, oh, well, I feel like I'm overextended because at that point now we're both overextended. Yeah. So I just go in the playroom and lay down on the couch and try to wash the office and take a nap because I, you're like, I'm well, like, how do you do that? I can't because take a nap. You, because you feel like you have all these things going on. And I'm just like, sometimes it's like, you know what? I just need to, but you, you do take naps. You take, you take naps. You I, do take naps. Sometimes you do naps. take naps. That's what I'm saying. It's like, I feel like you overextend yourself when you, yeah. just, you don't have to, you don't have to overextend yourself. Just chill out. Chill out. Like, chill. How's stuff going to get done, baby? What do you mean how stuff's going to get done? Things can get done as they get done. Like, but I'm saying, I'm saying like, you're like, well, I, I've researched, I've researched flights for the past eight hours. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you're like, well, I, and I, I have to. And I found the best it, possible one. And it's just like, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I know. I like, know. we have a. For me, it doesn't, it doesn't compute. It's just, it's just like, look up the flight and that's it. So I don't know how to be like that. Like, that doesn't compute to me. Like, we have a trip coming up. I have a full like PowerPoint presentation oh, about gosh. everything we're going to be doing, the best restaurants, because guess out. what? I'm not stressing myself out. I'm trying to plan ahead to not be stressed out when we land in an international country. And then all the kids are looking at me like, what are we doing? Oh, we can't go here because we don't have tickets and we ain't get tickets in advance and we ain't plan ahead. We have no reservations. We did not think ahead. We, we can't ahead. go. No. Just enjoy life. Like it is cool. I don't know how to be like that, but I realized you were probably like that when you were younger. What? Like that whole, oh, it's fine. Don't worry. No, it about wasn't it. like that. You made me like this because we both can't be like you. If we were, <laughs> then our house would burn down. We both no. can't be we both can't be anxious. Like I just I can't uh, But I can't I'm not anxious all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, babe. But you know what I can Legit. do? Like How? I think I think sometimes and you know, I be, I even tell you, like when we go on vacation, like I'm so thankful that you have grown to this point where you like, you know, I hate the schedule. Yeah, we're not doing the schedule because at any at any point in time the schedule needs to change because I need to but go to the gym. You usually ask me though, babe, what, what we're doing. I do. I normally when ask you now because because of the routine <laughs> because you're always like uh, like we we went we went skiing and what was that about? That was like well remember at one o'clock we have this and at two but we didn't even follow the schedule because we were like well the kids are still playing and we just yeah. went for breakfast and I was like hey I need to go to the gym yeah and I, and then it snowed real bad and, and then almost I almost died, died <laughs> three times so it's like you, you almost know, got in a car accident thank God he. He's here. Yeah, I almost Jesus. fell off. Well, the car almost was off a cliff once, yeah. twice. It's traumatizing. Yeah, so it is traumatizing, but yeah. nevertheless, I'm here. I lived. <laughs> but those things, babe, I'm yeah. just saying you're, you're overextending. So yourself. maybe I give them to you. Give them to me for I what? I give you some things on my list. And I don't want the things on your I, I See, that's the crazy thing. I have enough on my, I have enough on my list, but I can't even bring my list over here because you're always stressed out about your list. <laughs> And you you and you assume that I have nothing on my list because I just don't tell you. You I have should stuff tell on my me list. what's on your list. Absolutely not, because then we're both going to be sitting around baby, complaining I about. Eat, oh my goodness, no, I'm tired. It's communication. It, that's baby, to real. Me, that's it's not a, communication. Baby, that's adulting. It's not to me. To me, when I when I hear you complain about how much you have on on your on your lap, 
the last thing I want to do is to bring over what I'm doing. So you know what I don't do? I don't bring it over to you. I just try to figure it out and deal with it the best way I know okay, how. Okay, moving forward, I want to hear about your list. No. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I cannot I need, do. I need I that transparent, that. vulnerable I part in your that. heart. Listen to me, babe. I love you. And I cannot do that for you right now because you are, you, you, you cannot handle it. I love you. You know, I love you. Of course. I've known you for what? 15, 16 years. You've yeah. been married for 14 years. <laughs> of course. I know how much you can carry. And no, I can't do that. I can't do it. Can I just tell you what's on my list and see if you want Absolutely to Absolutely not. Because you, <laughs> and it's not like, I, I don't I already know what's on your list because you talk about it. I do. Over and over again. But, right. So I don't know what's on your list because you don't talk about it. Exactly. Because you, because your list, Baby. your list becomes paramount. So I try to make sure that you're okay. You do. You'd be like, you know, I can, do you want me to go pick up some food or do you want me to come do that? Yeah. And I try to push my list to the side to make yeah. sure you're okay. Babe, trust me. You can't handle both lists. And plus, I will be irresponsible to try to give you something because I know how you are. You're going to try to take it on for yourself. <laughs> that is so true. I'm like, I'll just do it. I'll and, just do and what's that, on your I, list. I don't, I don't, I don't, and I just, no, I love you. true. I know how much you can bear. I'm your husband for a reason. <laughs> Absolutely freaking not. That's real. But I've noticed in our boys that they don't think past the next five minutes. And that's okay. Let them live in the moment. But they live in the moment. Taylor? Stresses herself out and she's anxious. <laughs> Cause she's just like you are. And I'm just like Taylor. She's like, well, I don't know, dad. What do you think about my wedding? We're not talking about that right now. <laughs> so she's currently at home right now, packing for one of our international trips. Like, we don't have until like a week and a half. Well, it's nine days. It's in nine days. Yeah, it's in nine oh, days. Shoot. I didn't know nine days. Exactly. Well, y'all, that means we got to go. Cause I need to go home and do some stuff. We gotta y'all go introduce us. We out this piece. We love y'all so much. I don't we know if we y'all. finished even talking about the rest we of the we're talking about. It's okay. But I feel like the pivot was needed. I, I do. I, I feel like that too. Yeah. Also, let me just, let me get this, this point to the teachers. I love you guys. I wish you guys were paid more than, than professional athletes. They need to be paid millions. Y'all are, y'all are underpaid. You do a lot for everything that you do. So trust me when I say, I appreciate what teachers do. I love you. I want you to keep, Keep doing what you're doing. I pray that we get more teachers and I pray that our government finally wises up to actually pay you all what you deserve. There's no reason why any teacher in America should should struggle financially. You guys should have the biggest incomes, the biggest houses and the nicest cars because you take you help take care of our children. So we love you. God bless you. Introduces. We out this piece.